a ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church. This is Countdown to Courage. Well, hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to Countdown to Courage on this Thursday, July the 20th, 2023. And as always, I hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for dropping by the pastor's study. And uh, we appreciate the opportunity to be able to come into your home, your kitchen, your car, your place of business, your daily walk, whatever it might be. Uh, we're thankful that we've uh, been given the opportunity to be with you just for a few moments today. I know that you've got a lot of uh, a lot of different choices out there, and so thank you for uh, for listening to Countdown to Courage. Hey, listen, we covet your prayers. We we ask you to pray for us that God would bless and and help us to uh, to see this ministry expand for His glory and His honor. And we would appreciate that so, so much. Well, hey, listen, we had a great service last night. We had our VBS pep rally last night. It was, of course, the last Wednesday night before our Vacation Bible School kicks off this coming Monday. Great time last night. Fun time, testimonies, and uh, Chick-fil-A, and uh, great music. And then afterwards, um, uh, we, we appreciate so many of our folks just helping uh, beginning to carry all the decorations in, and boy, it's going to be big. I'm telling you, uh, this year, <laughs> man, uh, you know, I've saw the Lord do some big things in the past, but this year is going to be big, big, and uh, uh, capital letters, B-I-G, big. And so uh, anyway, we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to do. I'll say more about that in just a moment. Listen, if you'd be so kind as to like and share the broadcast, the more you do that, the more the message of the gospel is going to get out. And also, if you would be so kind as to comment, and we'll try to recognize our live audience as we're going off the air today. We'd love to do that. And thank you for being so faithful. So many of you are faithful, faith, a faithful part of our Countdown family. We pray for you. We pray for our Calvary family. We pray for our Countdown family. And it's an honor and a privilege to have you here today. Let me do this. Let me take us over to the split screen real quick and make a few quick announcements. As I've already mentioned, Vacation Bible School is just a few days away. We march in Monday at 7 p.m. And uh, that Monday night, it's going to be, it's going to be, I keep saying big, don't I? It's going to be huge. Is that is that better? It's going to be colossal. It's going to be gigantic. It's going to be great. And uh and so we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to do. So mom and dad, I hope you'll bring your kids to Vacation Bible School. You say, well, preacher, that church is uh, uh, 15 or 20 minutes away. Well, we tell people all the time the difference is worth the distance. And so mom and dad, when you come, plan on staying. Uh, we're going to have great refreshments for you. We're going to have a Bible class there for you. And so you have the opportunity to let your kids get involved in church. And also, you'll be able to learn uh, from Bible study, and uh, and so that's going to be a great time. And then at about 8.15 or so, we will assemble back into the auditorium uh, for what we call assembly time or even fun time with preacher, and it's a, it's, it's a hoot. I'm telling you, it's a, a great time. And so uh, please pray for our Vacation Bible School. It starts this Monday, and we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to do. Also, I want to encourage you to play, pray for our uh, awesome August that's uh, starting immediately after Bible school finishes. <laughs> we go one, from one big event to the next big event. And uh, Awesome August is going to be great for us. It really is. We've got, of course, Brother Finley, Dr. Rick Finley from the Fellowship Baptist Church in Durham, North Carolina. will be kicking it all for us. Our Calvary Bluegrass will be singing that night. And so please pray for Awesome August. Every Thursday night, of course, we'll have special speakers, special singers, and we'll move our midweek over to Thursday, and that allows these pastors to come and allows others to come maybe and visit with us. And so the services will begin at 7 o'clock, and I want to encourage you to pray for Awesome August if you would. Then we are promoting a giveaway this week. We have a $10 uh, store credit coupon for Common Grounds, which is our bookstore there uh, on the campus at Calvary. 
And so um, uh, we love Common Ground. It, it, it's, it's a great place of fellowship on Sunday morning. And, um, and it's just, it, it's been such a blessing to us at Calvary. We thank the Lord for that. And um, anyway, we're going to give away a, a $10 store credit coupon. So if you'd like the opportunity to win the coupon right now, reach down, like and share, like and share. And, uh, and uh, we'll, Lord willing, on Friday, we'll draw out of those names for the coupon. And that will be, that'll be great. Well, hey, listen, how many know we've been talking about procrastination this week on the broadcast? Procrastination. You know, it's one of those subjects that we need to discuss, but not necessarily one of those dis- one of those subjects that we desire to discuss. I guess because all of us from time to time, including this one right here, uh, all of us are sort of guilty of this thing of procrastination. Um, but let's talk about it a little bit more today. And I believe this will be helpful. I, I believe it'll be encouraging. Yesterday, we said this. We said that procrastination is the robber of eternity. A lot of people will... will uh, uh, spend uh, eternity in a Christless hell uh, because they procrastinated, they waited, they waited on this thing of salvation, and finally it was uh, too late to get saved. Um, but let's talk about this today. Not only is procrastination the robber of eternity, but I wrote this down, procrastination is a reliever of responsibility. It's a reliever of responsibility. Procrastination is often a, a hope that someone else will do the job. And of course, we're living in that culture today. We're living in that society today where uh, it seems like especially, especially the younger generation doesn't want to do it and they're hoping that someone, someone else will do it. Now, the truth of the matter is this, that sometimes people will pick up the slack. Sometimes people will complete the task. Sometimes they will do the job, but to be quite honest with you, there are times when that's not the case. Uh, Just because we wait on doing the job doesn't mean it's going to get done. Uh, The Bible says in Matthew chapter 9, verse number 37, of course, the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to his disciples, and he said this in Matthew 9, verse 37, then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the labors are few. Pray ye, therefore, the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers, laborers into his harvest. And don't forget what the Lord said. The fields are white already to harvest, but the laborers, they're few. They're few of them. And that just goes to prove what I'm saying today. A lot of people put it off. They put off responsibility. They put off the job. They 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 put off doing those important things task uh, that need to be done. Now, I want to tell you what we need today in uh, 2023, the uh, time in which we're living. We need some Christians with, and here's the word, and here's a word that we're not hearing very much of today, but here's what we need. We need Christians that are Christians of initiative, initiative. Uh, you say, Pastor, been a long time since I heard that word. Uh, you're probably right about that. It's a word we don't use very much. It's unfortunately, it's a trait that's not being taught much anymore. Most young people don't know what initiative is, but if there's a desperate need for our land today, it's this thing of initiative. Now, what is initiative? Initiative is is fulfilling a need personally, not waiting to see if somebody else is going to fill that need or do that job or take care of that task. Not waiting to see if someone else is going to pick up the trash. You know what? If you see the trash laying there, you take the initiative to pick it up. You're not waiting to see if someone else is going to raise their hand to to take care of that need in the church. You just go ahead and say, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm not going to wait to see if someone else does it. I'm not going to wait to see if someone else straightens up the restroom. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to wait to see if someone prays with that person at the altar. I'm going to take the initiative to do it. I'm not going to wait to see if someone else uh, witnesses to my coworker or my neighbor, but I'm going to take the initiative to try to give that gospel track out, to try to invite them to church, to try to speak a word to them about the Lord and try to get them to the Savior. Initiative. Uh, the desperate uh, need of the hour is Christians with initiative. Now, when I think about initiative, I think about uh, different Bible characters, but one of those that I think about is the prophet 
Isaiah. And one of the great things about the prophet Isaiah is that Isaiah was a prophet of initiative. Now you say, preacher, what in the world are you talking about? Well, if you have your Bibles today, I want you to turn over to the book of Isaiah, and I want you to turn to Isaiah chapter number 6. Isaiah chapter number 6, and look, at, if you will, at verse number 8. And here in this passage, we see that in that that Isaiah was a great prophet because he was, of course, yielded to the will of the Lord. He was a, a, a prophet of boldness. Uh, uh, God gave him authority. He was a prophet of power. But Isaiah was great, uh, a great prophet, because Isaiah was a man of initiative. Now, look, if you will, at Isaiah chapter 6 and verse number 8, and I love this. And Isaiah is speaking here, and he says this also. He said, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And look at Isaiah's response. Then said I, here am I, send me. <laughs> Don't you love that? You know what Isaiah the prophet was saying? I'm not going to wait to see if others answer the call. I'm not going to wait to see if others may prophesy. I'm not going to wait to see if others are obedient to Jehovah. I'm not going to wait. Jeremiah steps up to the plate with initiative and says, Lord, I'll go. Lord, I'll do it. Lord, here am I. Send me. I'll get the job done. I'm not going to wait to see if others may do it, Lord. Uh, I, I'll do it. I'm, I want to be a prophet of initiative. Oh, listen, initiative initiative. May we teach initiative in our churches again. May we teach initiative in our Sunday school classes again. May we teach initiative in the public school classrooms and, and to our grandkids and our children. And, uh, and may, we, may we be people of initiative. And so procrastination is a, is a reliever of responsibility. Uh, responsibility. Listen to this uh, somewhat humorous story that someone put together, and, I, and we'll, we'll leave you with this today. Someone said, this is a story about four people named everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done, and everybody was sure somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have done. <laughs> you have to watch the broadcast just to get that again, won't you? All oh, listen, maybe it not be people of procrastination. If the Lord asks us to do something, may we step up to the plate and say, Lord, here am I, send me. Amen. Well, hey, listen, praise the Lord. The Lord is good. I'm going to put our prayer helpline up on the screen right now, 704-327-5662. If you're watching the broadcast today and you don't know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I want to encourage you to call that number right now. We'd love to share the gospel with you and how you can know that you're going to heaven when you die, how you can have hope, how your life can take a take on a whole new joy, a whole new gladness, how you can be put on a brand new road and, and uh, be placed in a brand new direction. Jesus can do that. I'm telling you, Jesus is right for whatever's wrong in your life. And so I hope you'll call that number today. I'm going to leave it up there just for a few moments. And we want to recognize our live audience today if we could. And and then we'll be heading off the air today. Brother Lee Hoots is watching. Lee, I sure appreciate you and Michelle. And you guys have been such a blessing to Calvary. And Lee serves as one of our deacons. And uh, and we sure appreciate all that you guys do. Uh, the Hooks are watching. Barry, Christine, good to see you. Barry, pray it for you. And I'm sorry I have not had the opportunity to answer your text yet. But Barry, we're praying for you. And I hope you feel better. And I hope that... Uh, that you and Miss Christine have a wonderful Thursday. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Karen Hoffman's watching from Concord, North Carolina. Hey, Karen, good to see you. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, let me see here. The Gillies. Hey, Donnie and Tamara, good to see y'all. Miss Tamara, missed you last night. Hope you're feeling better. 
Donnie Tamer, appreciate y'all very, very much. Uh, there's Abel Seats, everybody. Hey, Brother Abel, good to see you. Hope you and Lauren are having an incredible day today. Abel, appreciate you, buddy. Love you, man. Uh, let me see. Let me see real fast. Catherine Williams is on here with us today. Catherine, welcome back to Countdown to Courage. Patsy Bird is watching from Harmony, North Carolina. Hey, Patsy, hope you and Ronnie are blessed beyond measure. It's good to see you. Leslie Cavan is watching today. Hey, Leslie. I hope you're having a great day today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And maybe others are watching with you from work. And so howdy to all of those. Thank you for tuning in. Sarah Fleming is with us today. Hey, Sarah. Thanks for being a part of the broadcast on this Thursday. Uh, Harvey Collins is watching. Hey, Brother Harvey, good to see you. Thank you for being back on the broadcast with us. Chuck Campbell. Hey, Chuck. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for being with us last night. Peter Spirito is with us today, uh, watching from the state of Maine. Hey, Peter, we're missing you at Calvary, brother. Good to see you on the broadcast today. God bless you, Lewis Johnson. Hey, Lewis, thanks for tuning in to Countdown to Courage. We really appreciate that. Joyce Jones, hey, Joyce, thanks for being a part of the broadcast today. Appreciate you and Brother Jerry. Um, let me see here. Uh, well, listen, that's some of the ones that I can see. There may be others. If you think this broadcast would help someone, let me encourage you to like and share, and we would appreciate that very much. Listen, Countdown to Courage family, don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. Listen, if you'd like some more information about Calvary Baptist Church or the Countdown to Courage Ministries, hang in there with us for this short closing as we leave the air today. We love you guys. Be blessed. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. We invite you to like and share to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tune in again every Tuesday through Friday at 3 p.m. If you would like more information concerning Countdown to Courage or the Calvary Baptist Church, please visit our website today, www.calvarybcug.com. Thank you, and until next time, may God richly bless you.